let's talk about our universe. Science confirms that nearly half of our human body is made up of stardust. WakingTimes.com actually released an article where the scientists have finally confirmed with um, some, um, some software that they created, or it, maybe not software, it was a, um, a simulation that was created to actually show you how the world or, or how the planets kind of crashed into each other, how things spawned off from, you know, something over here came and crashed into here and went this way. And so that there was lots of things that actually um, came together to make our planet, our universe, and even us. I mean, have you ever felt as though that you were part of something bigger, you know, in the galaxy, or that you have some physical connection with the cosmos? Mm, probably, yeah, because we are. You know, new dramatic studies showed that, th just that, I should say. Again, with that stimulated process where they show everything banging together, the scientists were able to say, hmm, maybe, you know, we do have some stardust in, in, you know, in, in, human, in humans today. Which I know that we've been talking about that for the last several years, but now scientists have confirmed this is true. You know? Um, the finding offer strong evidence that nearly half of the atoms found in the Milky Way are from residual particles ejected from faraway galaxies. Again, another experiment offered the theory that the universe itself may actually be a conscious organism and that all matter within it has permeated within a consciousness of its own. Combined with the recent discoveries about the origins of stardust, we may be on the brink of major breakthrough. That's what they're saying. So one says, you know, we're just part of the rocks, the stardust came together. And another is actually saying that hmm, maybe the universe itself is a co conscious organism. Who knows? But I mean, I think that's a great way to go because honestly, where do you go with this? I mean, you know, again, I, I know that for years that we've been talking about that we are, we are made from stars. We, um, you know, we're part of, you know, a piece that was on a asteroid that came here. And so, you know, we're part of the stars. You know, the simulation is a good visual. Um, you know, you create something and say, this is probably what happened. Because it shows you that, you know, we're like, everything is like a blender. You, you know, if things come from here, you know, every action, you know, causes a reaction. But what do you do with that? So now you say that we are part stars. Now what? I would love to see some real tests done on what are you going to do with that information. I mean, rather than, you know, the simulation again, which is good, but, you know, a simulation doesn't really test, you know, the particles, the, 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 the facts of where we came from. But, but it's a good start, like I said. You know, another thing is, um, the, a cool thing is, I should say, the six most common elements of life on Earth, including more than 97% of the mass of the human body, are carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, and phosphorus. And again, these are the same elements that are abundant at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. And the cool thing is that one of the most fascinating elements is phosphorus. Phosphorus actually can be highly poisonous and combustible. That um, white phosphorus is used in many destructive wef weapons such as napalm. It was also the first element discovered since ancient times. The person who has made this discovery was Henning Brand in 1669, who, who did so while he was playing around with large amounts of urine. Oh. Anyways, Brand called the new element cold fire because it glowed in the dark. The name of the element comes from the Greek word phosphorus, which means bringer of the light. That is another topic. So I just think that's very interesting that a piece of us that we're made of, the phosphorus, you know, we have that element within us, which has actually been known to have this... Um, this, this light inside, in, in the actual properties itself. It's very um, disastrous, like, uh, um, I saw this one, um, like, science video where they, this guy actually poured phosphorus into a, um, 
like a clear beaker with nothing in it, and it actually began to flame. Phosphorus actually is known to burn air. Crazy, look that up. Phosphorus burning air. Look that up on YouTube, you'll find it. it's pretty crazy, but that's within us. We have this fire that's within us. It doesn't need a lighter, it doesn't need a physical um, match. It's already there. Something to think about, right? Very, very, very interesting. So now, what do we take with that? Scientists, if you're watching, start there. How do we ignite that phosphorus? I don't know, maybe it's not a good thing.